Hey, what's up guys, this is Brad with Fitness, and today I want to talk about something that I think is really freaking cool. Um, the Hybrid 3 Showdown has taken place, and uh, if you're not familiar, it is pretty much one of the biggest powerlifting meets in the country, really in the world, and um, some, some really phenomenal things have happened. Uh, so we could spend quite a lot of time talking about all the different facets of what took place during that meet, but I want to focus on just one. And the thing that I want to focus on is Julius Maddox and his new world record bench and some of the things that might be going on kind of behind the scenes and some of the things that he, he might be doing. This is kind of a speculative video, um, but uh, I think it's just kind of a fun topic to talk about. Um, so if you aren't familiar with Julius Maddox, he is a gigantic human being who is looking to chase down the very first 800 pound raw bench press. That's right, raw, like t-shirt raw. Um, it is getting very, very close. So in this uh, Hybrid Showdown 3, he actually reset his own world record by bench pressing 782 pounds, which is amazing. So I wanted to kind of look at his bench press and, and break it down just a little bit and talk about some other factors and kind of speculate a little bit. Uh, so if you hear me out, uh, let's, uh, let's get into it. First off, let's check out Julius's new world record bench press. <laughs> Some pretty amazing stuff right um, certainly looked like he's got more on the tank and certainly looked like it was really not much of a challenge for him but I want to be a little bit more diagnostic than just saying oh that looked great I want to kind of break this down and, and talk about a few facets of this bench so let's go ahead and look at this again and the thing that I want you to focus on while we observe this bench is notice Julius's left arm um, you'll notice that his left arm lags just ever so slightly behind his right arm um, I think this is something that has been an issue for Julius for a while now, and I, I kind of want to talk about it and break it down. If you can see that little bit of lag, and, and you ought to be able to kind of uh, see that as, as he locks that, that bench out, that left, out, that left arm is just ever so slightly behind the right, which is a fairly common phenomenon for, for, for many people, right? I've had the same thing happen with my own benches. However, I want to take a look at this and kind of break it down because something like that could have a huge effect on somebody, especially when they're moving as much weight as Julius is. Now, recently, Matt Wenning, who has been working with Julius a little bit here and there, made a comment on one of his uh, Instagram lives where he was talking, he actually received a question about uh, Julius coaching him. And Matt said, no, that, that's not the case. Julius doesn't coach me, but he has been coming up to work with me a little bit and, and, uh, and, and do a few things. The question kind of came up about whether or not Julius will hit that 800 um, bench press. And Matt mentioned that, yes, uh, he believes that Julius will, and that there were some technical things that, that they were working to shore up with Julius. However, um, you know, pending some of those, those technical uh, cleanups and some other, some other work that Julius might be doing, that that 800-pound plus will probably be no big issue whatsoever. And again, just kind of looking at what we saw from this world record here today, I think that that's probably going to be absolutely the case. Julius will probably break and exceed that 800 pound barrier. But I want to talk about this little technical piece and kind of look at what I think one of the issues might be for Julius and his bench. And I believe that is the, the left arm lagging and or a balance issue. Now, um, let's take a, a few uh, examples from Julius's past and take a look at some other, other lifts that he's lifted. And again, I want you to kind of look at, at what's happened with that left arm and see that lag as we go. So let's take a look at the most dramatic uh, example that I have for you here today, and you'll see quite a large difference between that right and left arm. Let's check it out. Okay, certainly a very dramatic uh, difference between the two. Even still, a legal lift looked good, was good, what was the record at the time, but 
still, you know, quite a large difference between those two. And when we're talking about the vast amount of weight that Julius is dealing with, this can be a huge problem. Now imagine how much more proficient or how much more, um, how much better that, that, that bench would move if he was able to maintain that balance and symmetry. Let's take a look at another example here, and this is an example of Julius uh, benching 615 for six. Now, this particular issue doesn't really manifest itself until later on in the reps, but it still does begin to manifest itself. Take a look. see again later on in the rep work you can see that that left arm beginning to lag some let's take a look at another example with some rep work where you can see that left arm lagging all right cool and then the last example that I'm gonna give you in terms of um, previous examples is Julius benching 771 very recently out in California with some of the uh, the members of Strength Cartel. Um, what I want you to see here is notice how that left arm hits the upright first. So you're going to see that wobble on the uh, on the bar from that left arm making contact with the upright first. Check it out. Easy money. Cool. So, uh, by Julius's own admission, right, he, he has this post here where he talks about how he has difficulty um, with stability on standard benches. And in most competitions, they use a standard bench instead of a wide bench. Um, but Julius has, has talked about, you know, the issue for stability in the past. And I think, in part, the stability here is really what's creating most of the problem for him. So you can see in some of these other examples in the past where um, the stability was, was, was poorer or worse off, and so therefore the difference in his balance was uh, much worse, and so the, the discrepancy between the left and right arms were much worse. Um, in this case where he has the, the world record, it's not quite as bad, so I think this might be the thing that, that Julius is working up. But while we're talking about the balance and while we're talking about the effect that it has on the body and the strain that it has, take a look again at this example of Julius benching. And now, instead of watching the arms, what I want you to do is watch his chest. The, you can see the movement in his, in his uh, torso by him trying to balance that weight out. It almost looks like a baby kicking under a pregnant woman's stomach, how much movement there really is. And imagine how much more power he'd have if he wasn't having to strain so hard to balance that weight out. Anyway, check it out. As you can see there have been a number of examples in, in the past where you can see that discrepancy between the uh, the pace of movement or the pace of pressing between uh, Julius's left and right arms and very consistently through some of his pa or past bench presses you can see that that left arm tends to lag behind pretty consistently in the examples that I've given here um, one thing that I'm pleased to see in this new world record of the 782 you know, that discrepancy wasn't quite so vast as it has been in, in previous instances. So it's, it's my belief that when Matt Wenning was talking about some of the technical aspects for Julius's bench that he was beginning to shore up and work on, I think that this balance issue is something that Julius has been working on. And if that's the case, that work is really showing. 
he's doing a really great job at, at, at controlling and balancing the weight much better and as a result you're seeing more and more application of power because in powerlifting or any any kind of lifting whatsoever any un, unintended movement is going to be loss of power and I think that Julius being able to shore up these these very small discrepancies and trust me I, I understand how nitpicky all this this is but if you are at the very very tip of the spear you're, you're the top one percent these are the things that are going to make the difference and I think that this is one of the things that Julius has been working on. I haven't spoken to Julius, I haven't reached out for his feedback or whatever, this is me just kind of being speculative and, and taking a look and diagnosing what it is that I see, um, but you know, that's my take on it. I'd be interested to hear what your thoughts are, if you see the same thing that I think uh, that I see or if you think something completely different. It'd be interesting to have some dialogue and, and see what you guys think about the, the types of things that Julius might be doing in order to help him get to that 800 pound bench press. And again, I want to be very clear, this isn't me talking about the illegitimacy of any of his lifts. This isn't me talking about any, anything other than just kind of diagnosing some of the movement patterns that I see and just kind of giving my thoughts. I absolutely think that we're going to see Julius crack that 800 pound plus barrier in no time at all. And I, for one, will be super excited to see it happen because I think it's really, really awesome to see people do really cool stuff. So. That's it, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop in the chat box below. I'll be sure to respond. I appreciate you guys continuing to support me with the channel and, and with everything that you guys do. If this is a video that you know somebody that might like this, uh, please share it with them. And if this happens to be maybe the second or third video that you've checked out and haven't subbed up yet, I'd love to have you stick around and join the channel for a while. It'd be good to have you. That's it, guys. Remember, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like, find those little things that are holding you back. Sometimes little things can make a big difference, even if you're not you know, the top 1% lifter in the world. Um, it's never going to happen if you don't get in and train despite. You're either going to find an excuse or you're going to find a way. And I hope that you guys continue to find the way. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids.